Hello, it is Brickman here, and today, first of all, if you have seen how to fix the head of a Funko Pop bobblehead video, then I very much do recommend you watch this video right after it instead. And if you have not seen my original how to fix the head of a Funko Pop bobblehead, please do not click that video. And I'm not saying like, haha, clickbait, don't watch this video, and then you're definitely gonna watch it. I'm talking like, literally don't, it is actually so cringe. So that is why, of course, I am remaking it to make it 10 times better, hopefully, and, you know, actually show you how to fix the head of a Funko Pop bobblehead, because in my opinion, that video was very, very, very bad, and yet I was very shocked to see many people go on and say, thank you so much, oh my gosh, you saved my life, you're so helpful, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> Me, myself, watching it, I'm just like, all right, what's the big deal? It's just like, if you have a head that's going on a tilt, simply twist it and you're good. And I even screwed up in one part of the video and left it in. And the whole thing was so bad, but I get it, I get it, all right? I admit that is probably one of my worst videos ever, and yet is one of my most popular videos ever, which that's not a good thing. So, here's here's how you actually fix the head of a Funko Pop up with it. Blah, 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 blah. Here we've got Ray, and then again, why not get Vision? There are two types of Funko Pops, of course, in terms of heads. Those who bobble and those who don't. See, they have a nice stationary head. These are nice and simple, you see. Say their head is on a tilt. Well, here's how you fix that. Voila. So that's enough of that. You can see, you just simply twist the head, all right? They're kind of on a joint there. I mean, some are tighter than others, but trust me, they will twist. I've dropped Funko Pops before they could, you know, easily turn, and, and all of a sudden, they're super loosey-doosey, all right? Uh, the more you turn their head, the more loose it gets, and that could be a bad thing, so don't over-twist their heads, all right? Just leave them alone. That's what I gotta say about that. Now, you got bobbleheads, which these can be a real pain in the butt, all right? These things usually, from my experience, they are always coming out horribly from the box. So here's how you fix them for the most part. So say we've got our prime example again, Vision. So we've got Funko Pop bobbleheads whose heads may look good on an angle. This looks super cool, for example, and his head is very much on the side. Like here's the front view of his body like that, but you know, the stand was meant to be so it matches up like that more so, where his head is on an angle. Then there are those trash ones, such as Vision, where no, we don't want to see you turning your head all the way to the side like that. You have no purpose in doing that. Just look straight at me. Look me in the eyes, Vision. Come on, real relationship with Scarlet Witch. You don't know how to look someone in the eye, so let's fix your relationship, Vision. See where I'm going with this? So basically, yes, as I mentioned in my cringe video, you have uh, this little bump here. If you look very closely at the end of the spring, you could push that. And that's only if you're lucky that his head is actually turned over here. So then you could just easily push that, and that's going to make it nice and smooth. All right. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, just grab it, twist it. Don't be too afraid to break the spring. These are, for the most part, pretty good. I have had some very, 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 very bad experience before. And I'm talking about this here Funko Pop, Star-Lord. His head was so bad. And now look what I did to that spring. You see it's all mangled up in there? I destroyed the thing. For the most part, that shouldn't happen if you're fixing a simple twist like he had. But if your spring is super, super tight and you cannot move that spring, right? you keep twisting, it will not move. Just keep twisting, trust me. It will move eventually. All right, really, I this thing was, this was very, very tight, this spring. And I just kept twisting and twisting and twisting. Eventually, I got his head just about right, but I kept going, man, and the spring got completely messed up. Fortunately, I could get his head just now to look straight at you like that. And it's, it's very tight, like you can't move his head at all now, but it worked in the end, all right? His spring is messed up. So if you don't care about the spring, just keep twisting until you get it how you like it. If you do care about the spring, well, then you're out of luck. <laughs> Here's vision fixed. A, a simple head turned to the side is, is all right. I've had a lot of that in my experience. Their their head can be like a super daddy long leg neck, giraffe neck Funko Pop. Just keep twisting it in. It's just like screwing in a screw. You keep turning and it gets shorter and shorter, all right? You know, just keep doing that. But then you have what we have Ray out here for. I've been getting a lot of this recently, where they're looking up to the sky like, no, I don't want your head on a tilt like that. It doesn't make it look pretty. This is where things get real complicated, because what I did, my little technique in fixing that, the material I recommend the most, which is easiest to get your hands on, is this here bubble wrap. Yeah, I use bubble wrap to fix this. Uh, I did it for Hella as well. Of course, you can see the the, re the result's not going to be perfect, all right? She's still going to be on a little bit of a tilt, but you can improve very much. So here's how you do that. So you're going to stuff it into the side that's pointing downwards, the lowest, and 
<laughs> just keep pushing it in because now you're pushing that side <laughs> outwards more so she could start going straight again. See how easy that was? That was, she's even better than I had her before. You will have bubble wrap in, sure, and now she will no longer bobble, but that's at your own expense of getting her to now look so much better. <laughs> see how, see the straightness of her head now? That, that fixed it so good. I could never get Hella, unfortunately. Just keep stuffing as much bubble wrap as you have into her head if you feel like it. But yeah, get your hands on some bubble wrap. Now, now you fix that, that tilt that could be really bad sometimes and just keep twisting and turning and you sometimes may break the spring, but that's only if it's the spring is very, very tight, which happens very rarely. And you know, I'm, I'm hoping you don't get that experience. You can even make them cool, you know, and now springs are pretty much just as adjustable as this, but with a little more tightness and with a little more risk. All right. You got what I'm saying here? Thank you very much for watching. And I hope this is a little less cringe than my best video, but you know, I've given you much more examples and I've actually done it right. And yeah, leave any comments below if you have any more further questions and I'll be happy to answer. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned for lots more videos coming real soon. Bye-bye.